Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor was born into royalty, the first daughter of the Duke and Duchess of York, later King George VI and Queen Elizabeth I. She became heir presumptive after the abdication of her uncle, King Edward VIII, in 1936. And after the passing of her father in 1952, a 25-year-old Queen Elizabeth was officially named head of the Commonwealth. Queen Elizabeth II was coronated on June 2, 1953, beginning a reign that included major political changes, meetings with 12 sitting U.S. presidents, and more than a handful of hardships. At the time of her death, Queen Elizabeth was not only the longest living and longest reigning British monarch, but also the world's longest serving female head of state. In a royal tenure that long didn't come without criticism and controversy, the first being her engagement to Prince Philip. Some royal advisors deemed the prince, who had little financial standing and was foreign-born, an unsuitable partner for then Princess Elizabeth. Regardless, the pair married in 1947 and had their first child, Prince Charles, less than a year later. They had four children total, Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. Charles married his wife, Princess Diana of Wales, in 1981. The fairy tale wedding was broadcast to a global television audience and 600,000 spectators lined the streets near St. Paul's Cathedral to catch a glimpse of the couple. A kiss, which receives a roar of approval from the crowd. But despite fairy tale appearances, all of Elizabeth's children struggled in their personal lives. She referred to 1992 as her Annus Horribilis, or Horrible Year. During the first three months of her 25th year on the throne, she witnessed the breakdown of Prince Andrew's marriage to his wife, Princess Sarah, and Princess Anne's marriage to equestrian captain Mark Phillips. Later, Prince Charles formally split from his wife, Princess Diana. The pair officially divorced in 1996, two months after the Queen urged them to do so. Perhaps the most devastating and most enduring tragedy of the Queen's reign came in 1997, when Diana died in a car crash a year after her divorce from Charles. She left behind two children, young Prince William and Prince Harry. The glamorous activist was an international icon whose tragic death left a lasting impact on the royal family's legacy. Mourners left offerings outside of Kensington Palace for months. On September 5, 1997, Queen Elizabeth paid tribute to her late daughter-in-law during a live television broadcast. Her funeral took place in Westminster Abbey the next day. The youngest son of Diana and Charles, Harry, later left the royal family with his American wife, actress Meghan Markle, in a bombshell interview with Oprah. The pair accused members of the royal family of racism, though Markle clarified the Queen was uninvolved. Just a month later, the Queen lost the love of her life, Prince Philip, at the age of 99. Elizabeth maintained a high approval rating throughout her reign. And the long-serving queen, with her monochromatic outfits, elaborate hats, and well-documented love of corgis, was as much of a pop culture icon as she was a nation's figurehead. When England hosted the Olympics in 2012, she starred in an opening ceremony sketch alongside James Bond actor Daniel Craig. On the stage, she was immortalized by Helen Mirren in the Tony Award-winning play The Audience. On screen, the royals were featured on the critically acclaimed Netflix series The Crown. Elizabeth's oldest son, Prince Charles, is next in line for the throne at 72 years old. He is the oldest heir apparent in the history of the monarchy.